Hey there, Pats Nation. Let's get into our first rumors, but a quick shout out to all the people in the Patriots Facebook groups and on social media giving me hell all week for my first report that Gronk might be headed to the WWE. And it turns out that I might be a little bit more correct than previously thought. We're giving this one four Lombardi trophies because the World Wrestling Entertainment Company has offered Gronkowski a contract. Let's be honest with ourselves, people. Let's remove our a little bit of bias. This would be a perfect move for Rob Gronkowski and the brand. Just imagine the Gronk spike, kind of like a choke slam, but with a person instead of a football. It's a perfect fit. I know no one wants him to retire. I certainly don't want him to retire, but the retirement rumors are swirling. And if you're a Gronk, you could get out now, keep your health and probably your brain and still get to hit people and throw them around. Would probably be a good move for his career, but hopefully he stays for a couple more years with the Patriots. I'm your host, Harris Rubenstein. This is Patriot Support presented by Chat Sports. That was our first rumor, but before we move on, let's get into our rumor meter. And if there's one Lombardi trophy, we're on to Cincinnati. It's fake news. We're not dealing with it. Two Lombardi trophies, it's Ted Wells levels. Small strand of truth, not really much. You don't need to put a lot into it. Three Lombardi trophies, we'll see. 50-50 shot could go either way. Strictly a rumor. Four Lombardi trophies, it's pretty likely that it's going to happen. And then five Lombardi trophies, count the rings, baby. This is 100%. This is news. Let's get into rumor number two. Is Odell Beckham Jr. coming to the Patriots? People are talking. We'll see. We're giving this one three Lombardi trophies. Tom Brady and Odell Beckham Jr. have been connected a lot on social media recently. Odell just got a snakeskin Tom Brady jersey custom made just for him. Posted it on Snapchat a couple days ago. And if you were paying attention to his social media output, Tom Brady commented on one of Odell Beckham Jr.'s Instagram posts after he posted a very popular little Wayne uh, lyric. And then we also know that when Odell Beckham Jr. was defending his I'm passionate for football, why is it me and not Tom Brady? He made a, it wasn't a shot, the video was about Tom Brady. So clearly there's some sort of connection there. We're not saying he's come to the Patriots, but maybe Gronk retires and they replace him with Odell Beckham Jr. You heard it here first. We're giving this one three Lombardi trophies. We'll see, 50-50 shot. Let's get into our third rumor. Butler knew he was benched during the week. So this is coming straight from Devin McCourty. And if there's anyone you can trust in this entire situation, it's probably Devin McCourty, the captain of the defense. So if he says that the team knew that Butler was getting benched and that Butler also knew, then that's a different story. What I don't think Butler knew was that he was going to miss the entire Super Bowl. I think that they told Butler he wasn't going to start, and I don't think he reacted very well to it. We saw it on the sidelines. He was sobbing and everything. Maybe he didn't react well to the news all week long. Perhaps he was moping through practice. He wasn't playing very well. Uh, loads of things could have happened in order for him to not to play the entire Super Bowl. But look, if Devin McCourty is saying that Butler knew he wasn't going to start during the Super Bowl week, then to be totally honest, I'm going to believe Devin McCourty. I don't think he has a lot of reasons to lie, but if you go and listen to his interview, he was defending Malcolm Butler, saying that all of this, you know, talk about him, you know, doing all these disciplinary things and all this off the field stuff is all false, all, you know, all fake news, basically, and that it was unfair to start planting this, these stories all over the place with Malcolm Butler heading to free agency. So Devin McCourty stepping up to the plate as the captain and the leader that we know he has been on defense. So we'll see what ends up happening with the rest of this story. But this has captivated Patriots Nation so far. I can't remember the last time that a, a story about a New England Patriot who probably isn't even going to be on the team next year was so all-consuming uh, since this Malcolm Butler situation has certainly gone on. Let's get into our fourth rumor. We're talking about James Harrison possibly returning to the Patriots we're going to give this one three Lombardi trophies. We'll see. So Christopher Price of the Boston Sports Journal, who many of you know from his time with the Globe before he got let go during the layoffs, said that James Harrison is open to returning and that the Patriots are also interested in a return. Look, it would be good for the death. It really shouldn't stop them from adding another defensive end of the draft because, boy, do they need one. I think it'd be an okay you know, addition. He'd play some good snaps. He'd bring some pass rush off the bench. There are certainly worse things uh, for to happen in that the Patriots could bring in a defensive end, but I think James Harrison returning would actually be a pretty decent uh, move for the defense. But please, please still draft another defensive end. From me and everyone at Patriots Nation, we need more pass rush. Let's get into number five. 
to Devin McCourty go through shoulder surgery. We're giving this one five Lombardi trophies. Just a little cleanup procedure. Nothing to really fret about. Apparently, he injured his shoulder late in the season. And remember, one of McCourty's best skills has been his reliability and his dependability. He's missed five games in his entire career. So out of 128 possible games missed, he's only missed five of them. So he should be fine for next year. It was a simple procedure. He'll be just fine for the start of next year. Let's get into our final rumor. Is Bubba heading to Indy? Yes, he is. Ray Ventrone, the Patriots assistant special teams coach, has been upgraded to the special teams coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. He'll be joining Frank Reich's new staff. I wonder if he would have gone with Josh McDaniels if McDaniels had gone to the Colts to be his special teams coach. Well, no. Joe Judge probably would have gone with McDaniels. I wonder if Ray Ventrone then would have come the Patriots special teams coach. So, a couple different things here but uh, I'm, I think the bigger name that people know is actually Ray Ventrone's brother Ross Ventrone who was famous for getting cut and re-signed to the Patriots 10 times in one single season so go go Ross Ventrone the old special teamer but good luck to Ray Ventrone over there in Indianapolis